Good morning, dear students. This is our first session for Calculus 1. And we shall discuss this morning the concept of continuity. So in relation to limits. Now, prior to discussing uh, the topic of continuity, uh, let's uh, recall some of the theorems on limits that we have studied in the previous sessions with Sir Richard. What's the limit of a constant? Limit of a constant? Anyone? Limit of a constant is the constant itself, isn't it? How about limit of a sum? What about limit of a sum? Or better yet, let me just give you um, limit statements and I want you to evaluate. Okay, so for instance, I want you to evaluate the following just to recall some of your limit theorems. Okay, so as fast as we could, may we try to evaluate the following just for you to recall your limit theorems. Can you hear me? Am I audible? Ah, okay, so number one, evaluate the limit of pi as x approaches 2. Okay, so number one is pi. Okay, most of you answered pi from limit theorem number one, which says that limit of a constant is the constant itself. And you know very well that pi is a constant. Okay, how about number two? Okay, what about number two? So, number two is one. Okay. So, for number one, all of you answered by. How about number two? Okay. Limit of the square root of x as x approaches one is equal to one. Okay. That's by direct substitution. Okay. One. How about number three? Okay. What about number three? The limit of x squared minus x over x as x approaches 0. Okay, Marnell said negative 1. What about the rest? Let's wait for responses from the others. So for number 3, uh, I can see from my screen Marnell's answer is negative 1. How about the others? Let's wait. Uh, 
How about the others? Okay, while waiting, let me add one more uh, for a uh, number five. Uh, zero, is it zero? So let, mamaya. For number five, let the function f of x be defined as Okay, negative 1. Who answered negative 1? Except for uh, 0. Meron ako nakikita kasi 0. So for number 3, the answer is negative 1. Okay? The correct answer is negative 1. How did you get negative 1, by the way? Negative 1. Can we do direct substitution for number 3? Okay, for number 3. Limit of x squared minus x all over x as x approaches 0, we cannot do direct substitution because that will give us 0 over 0 or the indeterminate form. Okay? That would result to the, yes, indeterminate form. Okay? Indeterminate. The form 0 over 0. So, like what you said, it's by factorization. So we can simplify the given as the limit of, since x is a common factor on the numerator, we bring it out, giving x minus 1 all over x as x approaches 0. And we can further simplify by canceling out the common factor x. Okay, this will cancel out, leaving... Okay, limit of the quantity x minus 1 as x approaches 0. And by substitution, this gives negative 1. Okay, I think so most of you got the correct answer. But for number 4, how about number 4? This is limit at infinity as x approaches infinity. Okay, look at this. The limit of 3x squared minus x plus 1 all over 2 minus x plus 2x squared as x approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity. What is this equal to? Anyone? Ay, ay, hindi pa pala na-discuss. Akala ko tapos nyo lahat ng, infinite, ng, ng rules on limits. Ah, okay. So, in passing muna, balikan na lang natin later, okay? Kasi I prepared for continuity this morning. Uh, okay. So, for limits at infinity, akala ko na-discuss nyo. Dagdagan ko na lang muna lang sa pang blanco para i-discuss ko sa inyo. Limits, in passing muna. Limits at infinity. As x approaches infinity, there are several cases, but 
In this particular instance, the given is the limit of 3x squared uh, plus, let's go back to the previous. Okay, 3x squared plus a uh, minus x plus 1 minus x plus 1 all over um, 2 minus x 2 minus x plus 2x squared as x approaches infinity. Okay, the rule here is Check on the degree. Somebody was asking about the degree a while ago. Oh, that's Marnell. I think he has an idea. Okay, so, or those of you who came from the STEM uh, strand, for sure you know about this already. Now, for limits at infinity, there are several cases. Looking into the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. What do we mean by degree once again? Okay, degree. Okay, from your algebra class, you know for a fact that degree is the highest exponent of the variable x, yes? Okay, highest exponent, that's the degree. What's the degree of the numerator? 2. What's the degree of the denominator? 2. Okay, in this case, since the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, then the limit is equal to the quotient, quotient of the leading numeric of the uh, numerical coefficients of the leading terms. Leading terms, yun yung highest, yung my highest power or highest degree. So let me, okay, um, I want you to pay attention to this. Yan, 3x squared and 2x squared. Numerical coefficients are 3 over 2. So here the limit is 3 over 2. I'll discuss this maybe if I could finish continuity with you today, then I could discuss limits at infinity. Okay? Limits at infinity. How about, sige, in passing na lang, if, Okay. Bakit kaya? You might ask me why. Okay. This, as x approaches infinity, what's your understanding, by the way, of as x approaches infinity? As x approaches infinity. As x increases indefinitely. Yes? As x increases indefinitely. Now, let's look at a um, particular example. Limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Sige, nandito na rin lang tayo. E di ituloy-tuloy na muna natin. Limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. What do you know about the value of 1 over x as the denominator increases without bound? As x increases without bound. Okay, so let me use another ink. 1 over x, the value of 1 over x, if x is um, x equal to, let's say, beginning with 10, and then 100, and then 1,000, and then 10,000, then 100,000, 1 million, Obviously, makikita nyo naman dito yung resulta. Okay. This is how we could establish limit, di ba? When you discuss limits, I think you made use also of table of values for uh, a specific function. So, in this case, 1 over x. What happens to the value of the function? Okay. Or how does the function behave as x increases without bound. These are the x values. Looking at the values of x from 10 to 100 to 1,000 to 10,000 to 100,000 to 1 million, what happens to the function value? 1 over x is 0 0.1, yes? 1 over 100 is 0 0.01. 1 over 1,000 is 0 0.001. 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, 0 
zero zero one zero point zero 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 how many zeros five zeros okay so obviously as this okay as x approaches infinity as x okay the denominator as the denominator approaches infinity what can you say about the function value it approaches or it gets closer and closer to a specific value also and what is that value okay take note that 0 0.000001 is very very close to what number zero it's negligible it's almost nothing and so we say limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity is equal to zero okay as x approaches infinity is equal to zero now if i change the numerator into any constant any constant like for example a uh, two ganun pa rin naman yon two divided by a very 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 large number will yield a very 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 small number that that number is so close to zero okay even when this is negative even if this is negative like for example if this is negative when the denominator numerator rather is negative then this would be negative 0, 0.0 and that's still very 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 close to zero so in general in general the limit of c any constant over x raised to n okay as x approaches infinity is equal to zero okay the limit of c over x raised to n as x approaches infinity is equal to zero other questions here questions next baligtarin naman natin ngayon paano kapag or so um uh, before we proceed to the next by the way so if i would ask you now to evaluate the limit of let this be i na lang evaluate the limit of uh, 4 over x to the fifth as x approaches infinity what will this be okay what will this be the limit of 4 over x to the fifth as x approaches infinity now you might say what about uh, 0 approaches infinity ne left or right it's all right pareho pa rin yan zero because whether this is negative or positive the result will still be a number which is very very close to to zero okay so what will this be the limit of 4 over x to the fifth as x approaches infinity from what we have uh, observed a while ago will be okay the result here is also zero Okay, so please put that in, in mind. Next, how about, okay, zero. How about limit of x cubed plus x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity what do you think will this be okay what will this be kaya limit of okay so think of it uh, in this manner x cubed if i if x value if i uh, increase the value of x indefinitely what would happen to x cubed what ha would happen to x squared okay Add it to a constant 1. The result will still be a very, very large number. Yes, very big number because your x increases without bound. x approaches infinity. So if x is a very large number raised to the third power, definitely that would also be increasing. Then a large number raised to the second power would be a very, very large number also. Large number, large number. 
add it to 1 which is a constant then what would the result be it's also infinity okay so the result here is infinity now bakit yung kanina okay yung kanina na example natin limit of uh, let's think of a simple one 3x minus 1 all over uh, 1 minus 2x para sim or 2x plus 1 na lang para mas simple okay 2x plus 1 as x approaches infinity what will this be anong sabi natin if the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator then the limit of that quotient is simply the, okay, yan. The quotient of the leading, of the numerical coefficients of the leading terms, uh, 3 over 2. Now, if you're not convinced, if you're not convinced, then you can prepare a table of values for, okay, 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 as x approaches infinity so you select x values x values and then 3 x minus 1 over 2 x plus 1 you can begin with maybe a 10 like what i did a while ago 100 can you please try okay 1000 okay 10000 and does it approach a certain value let's see 1 million okay so let's begin with 10 3 times 10 is 30 minus 1 that's 29 correct over 29 over 2 20 21 correct 21 uh, 3 over 2 is 1.5 yes 1.5 is this closer to 1.5 you can check and then if x is 100, 3 times 100, I think you are following. Are you following? Can you follow? Okay, so when x is 100, 3 times 100, that's 300. Minus 1, that's 299. Can you follow? 299 over, okay, over 2 times 100 is 200, 201. Okay? You have calculators with you. You can express it up to two decimal places. Okay? And just uh, take note that the value gets closer and closer to 1.5. Okay, next. When x is 1,000, this will be 3 times 1,000, 3,000 minus 1 is 2,999. Divided by 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. So, 2,001. And what will this be? So, if we increase, increase, increase x values, notice that these function values are getting closer to 1.5. Agree? Did you check? 29 over 21, what is it equal to? 299 over 2001, what is it equal to? Is it very, very, very close to 1.5? Yes? Okay, it's getting closer to 1.5. So, that's it. Okay? So, when the degree of the numerator, degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, all we have to look into are the leading coefficients. Look at the leading coefficients. Okay, I think we could uh, proceed to our lesson for this morning. Let's go back to continuity. Okay, continuity in relation to limit. So, please do not forget your limit theorems. Plus, by the way, right hand and left hand limits. Okay, if we have right and left hand limits, the limit exists only when the left hand and the right hand limits are equal. Otherwise, if left hand and right hand are not equal, though they exist, then the limit of the function does not exist. Okay, so for existence of limit, left hand and right hand must be equal. What am I saying left hand and right hand? 
uh, by right hand limit as we approach that is uh, the limit of the function as x approaches um, a through positive values or true values um, from the right left hand and right hand yan yung dito yung left hand dito yung sa right hand limits okay so if the left hand and the right hand limits are equal then the limit of the function exists okay so now we move on to continuity at a point what's your understanding of continuous function continuous okay when is a function continuous 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 When is it continuous? Anyone? A function is continuous if you probably you might say if there are no breaks, there are no gaps in the graph. You're right. Okay? Kung walang break, kung walang gap. Okay? But what do we really mean by continuity at a point in analytic uh, geometry? For in calculus. Now, let's look at uh, a particular example. Continuity at a point. Let's consider a function defined by this equation. Okay? The function defined by the equation f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 times uh, x minus 1 all over x minus 1. Question, is the function continuous at x minus 1? Or at x equal to 1, rather, okay, I could write here at x equal to 1. Is graphs have uh, the graphs? Oh, okay, okay. Norlin said no holes or breaks, no gaps. Okay, continuous yun. Etong function na to, is it continuous at a particular point? What is that point identified? At x equal to 1. At x equal to 1. Where is x equal to 1? Ito. Ito yun. x equal to 1. So, let's label. Kasi hindi siya naka-label. So, 1 ito, 2, negative 1, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? So, is this function continuous at x equal to 1? Obviously, there is a hole. Okay, can you see this? It's a hollow. A hollow circle. There's a hole along this point. Which means this function is not continuous at x equal to 1. At x equal to 1. Bakit kaya? Look at the function given. Okay, look at the function given. I want you to pay attention to the given function. Okay, look at the function. Anything you'd like to say about the function given? Nyan. Ganito yung function natin. It's a rational function, isn't it? It's a rational function. Is this function defined at x equal to 1? Let me write that question. Is the function Defined at x equal to 1. What do we mean by that? Is there a function value at x equal to 1? Looking at the function given. This is our function. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 all over x minus 1. Okay, obviously, the function has no value at x is equal to 1. Because if x is 1, that would make our denominator 0. And even the numerator, so you'll end up with 0 over 0. That's the indeterminate form. So, walang value yung function at x equal to, to 1. It's discontinuous at x equal to 1. Okay? Now, how does the graph look like? Paano kaya nangyaring ganyan ang graph? You can prepare a table of values for, okay, for the particular function or 
if you have graphing softwares like uh, how many of you have GeoGebra and how many of you have used GeoGebra in the past or Autograph are you familiar with this uh, software apps tingnan natin kung meron ako ng GeoGebra para maipakita ko sa inyo GeoGebra there Okay, the function is y equals, can you remember the function given? 2x, is it 2x plus 3? Times, two x plus three times x minus one all over over x minus one. Okay, so look, the graph looks like this. And there should be a hole here. Merong hole dito dapat. Amit hindi nakita yung in-input ko. Ayun, yun. So, let's go back to our... Ayan, okay. So, the graph looks like this na. So, you can generate the graph using your uh, software app, graphing software like GeoGebra and Autograph. So, there is a hole at x equal to 1. At x is equal to 1. So, we say the function is not continuous at x is equal to 1. Bakit? What are the conditions that, that must be satisfied in order for a function to be considered continuous at a specific number a? So, by definition, the function f is continuous at a number a if and only if these conditions are met or are satisfied. Number one, f of a exists. So, going back. May function value ba at x equal to 1? At x equal to 1, wala. Undefined nga, sabi nyo. Okay, yung denominator po kasi ay magiging 0. So, right away, we can say this function is not continuous at x equal to 1. Okay? At x equal to 1. Let's go back to the next, or um, move forward uh, I should say. How about the second condition? Condition number 2 says, the limit of the function as x approaches a exists. Okay? So, number 1, the function value exists at a. Number 2, the limit of the function exists at a. And the third condition is that the limit and the function value must be equal. So, these are the three conditions that must be satisfied in order that a function f is continuous at a number a. a. Okay, now, if one or more of these conditions fail to hold, at a, the function is said to be discontinuous at a. Okay, discontinuous. Now, there are several types of discontinuity. It could be removable or essential, non-removable. Ano yung removable discontinuity at non-removable discontinuity or essential discontinuity? Let's look at the difference between um, essential and Removable. Uh, but prior to that, uh, before discussing the difference between 
removable and uh, essential. Let's look into some other examples to show you or to distinguish whether a specific function is continuous or discontinuous at a certain value of x or at a certain number. Okay, another function is the function f of x defined as um, 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 for x not equal to 1 and 2 if x equal to 1 continuous. Okay? Continuous kaya siya at x equal to 1. Is this function continuous at x equal to 1? Okay? Now, trying to graph the function the graph of the function would look like this. Take note that this was our previous function. Ito yung naunang function natin kanina, no? It's a straight line. It's a line with a hole at x equal to 1. Okay? There is a hole at x equal to 1. So, let's go back to that. Ito yun. So, the first um, example, or should I say the succeeding example is a piecewise defined function. There are two pieces in the definition. So, let's go back. Dalawang parte yung definition eh. Okay? It depends upon the particular part of the domain. Sabi dito, if x is not equal to 1, if x is not equal to 1, then the function is defined as this. Kung hindi equal to 1, ito yung function. Okay? Yung parte ng function na gagamitin natin. However, if x is equal to 1, then the function value is 2. If x is equal to 1, the function value is 2. So, if I would ask you now, what is f of 0? If I would ask you now, what is f of 0 then? What is f of 0? What will this be? What is f of 1? What will this be? What is f of negative 1? What is f of 2? Oh, let me see if you can understand this. This is a piecewise defined function. Two parts yung function. Depende sa x value. If x is not equal to 1, use this part of the definition. If x is 1, then use this part of the definition. So what is f of 0? So, to evaluate or to find the function value at 0, itong gagamitin natin. Because anyway, x is not equal to 1. It's 0. So, what will that be? Okay, f of 0 will be 2 times 0, 0, 3. Okay, 3, negative 3. Negative 3 over negative 1, which is 3. Correct? Okay, 0, 3. Tama naman. Look at the graph. I want you to look at the graph. Oh, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it's 0, 3. How about f of 1? Oh, f of 1. Anong sabi natin? If x is 1, if x is 1, ah, f of 1. If x is 1, ito ang gagamitin nyo. So, since our x is 1, then f of 1 must be? 2. Okay, so look. O, tingnan natin. Pay attention to the graph. If x is 1, what's the function value? 1, 2. There it is. Can you see this? Shaded dot or this dot below, below the line. That's part of the graph. That's part of the function. This is a special type of function. It's a piecewise defined function. Next, what is f of negative 1? Okay, f of negative 1, ito ang gagamitin natin kasi not equal to 1 naman yan. So, if it is negative 1, then 2 times negative 1, negative 2, negative 2 plus uh, 3, that's uh, negative, uh, 3 rat, uh, 1 rat rather, um, 1 and uh, so negative 2 over okay, negative 2 which is equal to 1. Okay equal to 1. 1 ito. Correct? So, tingnan nyo sa graph. Look at the graph. Negative 1. Ito si negative 1. Okay, positive 1. Correct? Okay. Finally, f of 2. Ito ba? 
f of 2, 2 ba? Hindi. x natin 2. So, ito ang gagamitin natin. Okay? So, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? Plus 3, 7. 7 over... Okay? So, 7. 2, 7. The result here is 7. Correct? Is it 7? Correct? So, 2 times 2. Here you have 2 times 2, 4. Plus 3, 7. 7 times 1 over. Okay. So, 7. So, the graph looks like this. Now, let's analyze. Okay. Let's analyze. Although, may result na kasi siya dyan. Dapat hindi ko muna nilagay. So, let's investigate the three conditions. So, let's go over. Okay. Let's go over. What did we say? For a function to be continuous at A, three conditions must be satisfied. F of A exists, limit exists, and F of A and the limits must be equal. Okay? So, let's see. Going back to example number one. Okay? What is F of 1? The question is, is F of X continuous at x equal to 1. Yan yung question natin. Dapat may f of 1. Meron ba? May f of 1? Meron. May function value. If x is 1, the function value is 2. Meron. Okay, ayan. No? f of 1, sabi natin f of 1 is equal to 2. So, condition number 1, satisfied. Let's put a check mark on that. Satisfied. Next, may limit ba? So, this is condition number 1. Condition number 2, what did we say? Dapat may limit. Limit of f of x as x approaches 1. Meron ba? Okay, may limit ba? Okay, limit of the function as x approaches 1. 1. Uh, so, let, look at the, the graph. Look. If I approach, ito, this is 1, ha? If I approach 1 from the left side, ito, approaching 1 from the right side and approach 1 from the left side, are we getting closer and closer to a specific value? Yes. Okay? This, in fact, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the limit. Okay, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limits are equal. The limit of the function as x approaches 1 is equal to 5. Okay, the limit as x approaches, the, uh, as, uh, x approaches 1 is equal to 5. Or you might say, ito siya, oh, the limit of x, sana yung function natin? 2x, sana yun? 2x plus 3, yan. 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. Diba? You said by factoring, cancel this out. And limit of the quantity, 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1 is equal to, by substitution, this is equal to 5. Yes? Is there a limit? Yes, the limit exists and the limit is equal to 5. Although you can also see that from the graph. How do we check on the limits from the graph? Look on both sides. Approach the specific x value from left and right. Where are we getting closer to? What function value are we approaching as we approach that x value from left and right? So, ito yun. I approach... 1. X approaches 1. As X approaches 1 tayo. As I approach 1 from the right side, as I approach 1 from the left side, what is the function value? Ano to? This is 5 and that's the limit. I hope that's clear. Okay, so satisfied din siya. Si number 2. May limit. Pero the third condition. The third condition entails F A and limit must be equal. Now, limit is equal to 5. But, F of 1 is equal to 2. Are they equal? Obviously not. Therefore, okay, 
Number three is not satisfied. What is our conclusion then? We conclude that f is discontinuous at x equal to 1. Why? Which condition is not met? Okay, number 3. Although may function value, merong limit, pero yung function value at limit magkaiba. Okay, so the third property is not satisfied. Therefore, the function is discontinuous at x equal to 1. Now, you might ask me, Ma'am, e paano pag at x equal to 0? Is the function continuous at x equal to 0? Sige. Depende, remember, specific a value. Dito, we are very specific. x equal to 1. Now, you might ask me, Paano naman, ma'am, kapag ang question is the function is, let me write that, is f of x continuous at x equal to 0? Still referring to the same, um, saan na yung function natin? Crap ko lang. At x equal to 0, what's the function here, by the way? Our function is, let's go back once again. The function given is, to. wait, I'll take a picture. So let's go back to that page. Okay, same function. Ito pa rin yung function natin. Okay, same function. Is f continuous at x equal to 0? Remember the three conditions. The first condition is, okay, condition number 1, there is f of a. Merong f of a. Number 2, limit of f of x, as x approaches a exists. Ma meron dapat yan. And third condition, the third condition, f of a should be equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a. Okay, so let's check on the three conditions. Remember, hindi na tayo 1 na, 0 tayo. So, i. Okay, for i, what is f of 0? What is it equal to? f of 0, x is not equal to 0. So, gamitin natin to. If x is 0, then 3, negative 1, negative, negative 3 over negative 1, it's 3. Correct? 3. So, the answer here is 3. Okay? Next, what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. Okay? As x approaches 0. Saan sa graph? Look at your graph na lang. Ito na lang. Yung, sa graph na lang tayo. Okay? Let me label this once again as 1, 2, 3. Okay? As x approaches 0, nasaan ba si 0? Ito ha? Ito si 0 natin. Oh. Okay, so we approach 0 from both left and right. Okay, as we approach 0 from left and right, we are approaching a specific function value and that is 3. Okay, so the limit of the function as x approaches 0 is equal to 3. So, number 3. Okay, f of 3 or f of 0 is equal to 3 and the limit is equal to, to 3. Are they equal? 
Yes, f of 0 is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. Therefore, therefore f is continuous at x equal to 0. Okay? At x equal to 0. At x equal to 0, the function is continuous. Other questions here? Other questions? None. We move on to example number 2. Okay, next. Example number 2. This time is a function defined by the equation 1 over x minus 2. 1 over x minus 2. Any comment on the given function? f of x is equal to 1 over 1 over x minus 2. 1 over x minus 2. Okay, look at, looking at the denominator. Okay, is this function, is this function continuous at x equal to 2? Is this function continuous at x is equal to 2? First condition, may function value ba at x equal to 2? Meron bang f of 2? Meron ba to? Meron ba? May f of 2 ba? Wala. Okay, f of 2 does not exist. f of 2, d and e. Okay, you know what d and e is. Does not exist. Wala. Kasi nga, 2 minus 2, that will be 1 over 0, undefined. So right away, Hindi na tayo mag-proceed to check on number 2 and number 3. Kasi yung first condition pa lang, eh, hindi na, sa na satisfied. Okay? The first condition is not satisfied. Okay? And one thing more, even if we continue, if I would ask you what's the limit? Sige nga. Can you tell me the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 2? Uh, looking at the graph. Sige nga. What is the limit of the function as x approaches 2? Looking at the graph, remember when you check on limit, you check both left and right side. Look, if we approach 2 from the right, get closer and closer and closer and closer to 2 from the right side, okay? Are we approaching a specific y value? Ito, pataas ito without bound eh. This line means it's uh, indefinitely, this could be extended infinitely up. Ito, this could be extended infinitely up. Remember the concept of asymptotic? Is it equal to 1? Wala. Infinity eh. Kasi, ayan o, oh, as we get closer and closer to 2 from the right, what is the function how does the function behave? The function increases infinitely without bound, which means that the limit of the function as x approaches to from the right is positive infinity. You understand that? And the limit of the function as x approaches to from the left, from the left, bakit may negative ako? Sorry, from the left. Positive, negative, meaning the direction lang yan. Ah, direction, do not be confused. Two from the right side, ito yun. This is what I mean by that. As x, as x approaches two, ha? Huh? As x approaches two from the right side, the function increases without bound. It increases without bound, which means that its limit is positive infinity. Whereas, if we approach 2 from the left side, what happens? So, look at this. If we approach 2 from the left side, pababa ng pababa ng pababa, it decreases indefinitely. Okay? Decreasing siya. 
which means that the function, the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the left is negative infinity. And therefore, what did we say? Right hand and left hand limits are not equal. Limit does not exist. So, for this example, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 does not exist. Ah, by the way, did you do left and right hand limits? Baka hindi. Did you discuss left hand and right hand limits? Naintindihan nyo naman yung mga pinagsasabi ko. Yang x approaches 2 from the right, x approaches 2 from the left. Did you finish that? Um, uh, left hand and right hand limits? Or not yet? Natapos nyo ba yun? Are you still there? Ay, not yet! Na-discuss, ma'am. Ay, ay, di na-discuss. Ay, alas. Hindi po. Ah. Ay, hindi pa. Okay, okay. Sige din. O, sige din. Um, paano kaya yan? Left hand. Hindi pa. Ah, sige na. Um, sige, sige. Nandito na rin lang tayo. Di isingit ko na lang din ulit. Left and right hand limits. Marami pa pala akong hahabulin. Kasi wala pa tayo sa calculus talaga. Okay, so that you can better understand the concept of a right and a uh, left hand limit, um, consider this to be the graph of a certain function. Let the function be uh, f of x. Find the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right. And find the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left. Okay, graphical na lang muna tayo. Mamaya kung may equation eh, discuss ko sa inyo kung paano. Okay, so let's uh, distinguish between left hand and right hand limits. And when does the limit exist? Okay, left hand limit as we approach that specific x value through values less than, okay, here 1. This is what we want to establish or this is what we want to find out. What is the limit of this function as x approaches 1. Okay, but take note that this function has two parts. Diba may two parts siya? Ito o. Oh. If x is equal to 1 or greater than 1, greater than or equal to 1, ito yun. For x greater than or equal to 1, ito 1, x, x. For x greater than, greater kasi to the right x greater than or equal to 1, the function has, okay, this graph. But, for x less than 1, meaning 1 to the negatives, exclusive of 1, of course. So, maybe 0 0.999999, very close to 1, and to 0, and to the negatives, this is that part of the graph. Okay, so the domain is divided into two parts. The first part is, is when x is greater than or equal to 1. Ito yon. 
x is greater than or equal to 1, ito. And when x is less than, less than 1, itong part. You understand that? Now, ano yung limit ng function as x approaches 1? Eh, dalaw yung parte ng function. So, we have to look into the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit. This is the right-hand limit. Right hand. And this is the left hand limit. Okay, the right hand limit. Now let's evaluate the right hand limit. What, okay, to what value of the function or of y? Okay. Is the function getting closer and closer to as we approach 1 from the right? Remember itong x values natin. As we approach 1 from the right side, the function value gets closer and closer to 2. And so we say the right-hand limit of the function is equal to 2. Ito yun. The right-hand limit is equal to 2. The limit of the function as x approaches 1, the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the right or through values greater than 1. What do you mean values greater than 1? Ito, 1 1.1, 1 1.5, 2, 3, 4. Ayan. As x gets closer, as x value gets closer and closer to 1 through values greater than 1. Kaya from the right siya. Right hand limit. Okay? The function gets closer and closer to 2. The function value gets closer and closer to 2. And so we say the right hand limit is equal to 2. How about the left hand limit? As x approaches 1 through values less than 1 or galing sa left ni 1. Okay? So, saan ang left ni 1? Ito si 1 natin, di ba? Ito, itong left. So, palapit tayo ng palapit kay 1. Saan naman papalapit yung function value? Pero hindi siya naging equal eh. Papalapit siya ng papalapit sa 1. Kaya, the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to 1. O, oh, ngayon, compare. Right-hand limit is equal to 2. Uh, left-hand limit is equal to 1. Are they equal? Hindi. Since the left-hand limit, okay, since the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right, Therefore, limit of the function f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. Okay? Does not exist. Pero kung pareho ito, 2 yan, 2 din dito, then the limit exists. Okay? The limit exists and it's equal to 2. But uh, in this case, the left hand and the right hand limits are different and therefore the limit does not exist. So in like manner, yung example natin kanina, okay? Okay. Gawa tayo ng blank page. So kung ang function natin ganito ang itsura, okay, may asymptote siya eh at x equal to 2. Diba 2? Ganito yung um, graph niya. So, dalawang parte yung function. Yan. Okay. So, this is the graph of the function. The function in the second example. This is x equal to 2. Okay. So, if I would ask you now to find the limit of this function... As x approaches 2, tinan nyo ang both sides. What is the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the right and the limit of the function 
as x approaches 2 from the left, what is this equal to? So, tingnan natin sa graph. Okay. So, ito, nahin natin, 2 from the right. Saan ba si 2? Ito si 2. X approaches 2 eh. As x approaches 2 from the right, anong mangyayari? Pataas ang pataas ang pataas ang pataas. May specific value ba? Wala kasi pataas siya ng pataas. It increases without bound. In fact, up to infinity. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right is positive infinity. I hope you understood that. Next, eh yung galing naman sa left. Pagkagaling sa left, ito yon. As x approaches, uh, bakit may negative 1 na naman ako? As x approaches 2 from the left. So, look at the graph. As we approach 2 from the left side, what happens to the function? The function decreases without bound. The function decreases pababa without bound. And therefore, the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the left is negative infinity. Now compare. Limit of the function as x approaches uh, 2 from the right is not equal to the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the left side. Therefore, we say limit of the function f of x as x approaches to d and e does not exist. Did you understand that? Okay, that's it. So let's go back to example number 2. Example number 2 pa lang tayo. Ayan. Okay, so limit does not exist. So continuous, discontinuous. The function is discontinuous at x equal to 2. Bakit? Yung unang Condition pa lang, hindi na na-satisfy eh. Walang function value at x is equal to 2. Okay? Now, number 3. Another piecewise defined function. Si number 2 kanina, kinuha ko. Ngayon, dinagdagan ko. Kaya, naging g of x. So, g of x is equal to, again, another piecewise defined function. And that function is... 1 over x, 1 over x minus 2, whenever x is not equal to 2. Okay? And it is 3 if x is equal to 2. Okay? If x is equal to, to 2. Okay. So, condition number 1. Check on the, okay? First condition, meron bang function value at 2. Question here, by the way, is I failed to write the question. Is G continuous at x equal to 2? Okay. Let's check on the first condition. Meron bang G of 2? Meron bang function value at x equal to 2? Meron bang function value at x equal to 2? Meron. Ito. Okay? If x is equal to 2, g of x is equal to 3. So, meron. Anong value ng function if x is 2? 3. Okay? Okay, next. Ito na yung condition number 2 natin. Limit. What is the limit of g of x as x approaches 2? Okay? As x approaches 2. Kaso nga, dalawang sanga yung graph natin. Kaya, we look into the left and the right hand limits. So, limit of g of x as x approaches 2 from the right, what will this be? And limit of g of x as x approaches 2 from the left, what will this be? Tingnan natin. Look at the graph again. As x approaches 2 from the right, dito si 2 ha? Okay, 2 from the right, anong value ng y? Hindi natin alam kasi pataas ang pataas ang pataas. So ano yun? That's positive infinity. Okay? So positive infinity. 
eh yung from the left side naman, pag manggaling tayo sa left side, ito, from the left side, as we get closer and closer to this x value 2 from the left side, what happens to the function? The function decreases without bound. So that means the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is negative. Okay, negative infinity. And therefore, okay, by yung right hand and left hand, which means that ito does not exist. Okay? So, condition number 2 is not satisfied. Okay? Walang limit. Okay? The limit does not exist kasi magkaiba yung right hand at left hand limits nila. Although may function value, meron. At x equal to 2, the function value is 3. However, the second condition is not met or not satisfied. Therefore, right away, we can say that g is discontinuous at 2. Okay? g is discontinuous at 2. Is this clear? Claro ba yan? Now, we proceed to number 4. Okay? Palala ng palala ang graphs natin. Okay, this time... We let h be defined by h of x is equal to 3 plus x if x is less than or equal to 1. 3 minus x if x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay? So, you might be asking, Ma'am, paano na na-arrive yung graph? You can prepare a table of values for that like this. So, consider... The first case, x less than or equal to 1. So, for x less than or equal to 1, you may begin with 1. Ano yung mga values less than 1? Okay, 0, negative 1. At anong parte ng definition ang gagamitin natin? This part, 3 plus x. Okay? So, 3 plus x. 3 plus x. So, if x is 1, this will be? 3 plus 1, 4. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Kaya, look at the graph. 1, 4. Gets nyo? Okay? 1, 4. 0, 3. Negative 1, 2. And that's it. Just connect. And that's it. That's the first part. How about the second part? Remember, there are two parts in the definition. Ito naman. Okay? So, if x is greater than 1. Okay? If x is greater than 1, anong parte ng gagamitin natin yung 3 minus x? So, which numbers are greater than 1? Then you can begin with 1.5. Si greater than 1 naman yun. 1.1. That's still greater than 1. Yes? 1.1. 1.001. Okay? 1 point, I want 1.01, 1 .01, and then 1.1, 1 .1, and then 2, and so on. If x is 1.013 minus 1.01 is what? 1.99, correct? 1.99? Yes. Am I right? Okay. If it is 1.1, 1 .1, 3 minus 1.1 1 .1 is 1.9. If x is 2, okay, 1. So, how would the graph look like? Can it be possibly at 1? Remember na si 1 ito. Hindi pwede kasi si 1 nandito na siya. So, we put a hollow circle at this. And then the next is 1.01, 1.19. And that's very, very close to 2, yes? Kaya dito mag-start and then pababa na siya. Okay. 2, 1. 2, 1. Okay, this is 2. 2, 1. And then if we extend our table to include 3, then 3 would be 0. Okay? Kaya ito. 3, 0. And that's it. So we were able to graph it. Okay? So the graph looks like this. So there are two parts in the graph. Now, let's check on the conditions. Condition number 1. Okay? H of 1. H of 1. Okay, what is h of 1? May function value ba when x is 1? Meron, ito oh. 
when x is 1, okay? When x is 1, ito yung function value natin. Okay, when x is 1, h is equal to, uh, when uh, x is 1, h of 1 is equal to 4. Okay, may function value. Satisfied yung first condition. Second condition, eh yung limits kaya. Oh, what did I say? Dalawang parte yung graph. Check on the left hand and the right hand limits. Okay, so we begin by looking at the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the left. 1 from the left, ito. Okay, as x approaches, dito x natin ha? Anong titingnan natin na value 1? As we get as x approaches 1 from the left, the function value gets closer and closer to ano to? Ano number to? This is 4. Remember, this is 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Okay, once more, as x approaches 1 from the left side, the function value gets closer and closer to 4, and this is why we have this. Okay? So, the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the left, let me highlight, 1 from the left is equal to 4. Next, how about when we approach 1 from the right side? What is the limit of h of x as x approaches 1 from the right side? Ito. Okay? So, let's get closer to 1 as x gets closer to 1 from the right side. Ito naman. Okay? And the function approaches a specific value and that value is 2. Okay? Therefore, we say the limit of h of x as x approaches 1 from the right is 2. Now, compare left-hand limit and right hand limits are not equal. Therefore, the limit does not exist. So, since condition number 2 fails to hold, then right away we can say, okay, H is discontinuous at 1. Okay? H is not continuous at 1. Discontinuous at 1. Nakasabay pa tayo? Okay lang kayo? Naintindihan nyo pa ba? Okay. Sige, pang last na. Last. Last for this morning. Let the function be f of x is equal to, again, a piecewise defined function. Absolute value of x minus 3. If x is equal to 3, not equal to 3 rather, and 2 if x is equal to 3. Okay, again, you might be asking me once again, how shall I graph and prepare a table of values? Kung hindi equal to 3, edi 2, okay? So, for x not equal to 3, uh, x not equal to 3, then you'll have, uh, you can have 2, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, okay, and so on. Then, use the absolute value of x minus 3. Okay, so if x is 2, 2 minus 3 uh, is 1, absolute value of 1, 1, 1 minus 2, and then 3, and then 2, and, ay bakit? 2, okay. Ay, sorry, sorry, wrong, wrong. Yan, 2, 1, 1 minus 3, 2, 0 minus, okay. Okay, 2, tama, tama. 2 and 4. Okay, so this part would be, yan, 2, 2, 2, 1, tama. 2, 1, rather, 2, 1, ito. 2, 1, 
zero three tama k one one two tama and then negative one four then you can even have 4 also. Wala tayong nilagay pala na 4. Okay, we can include here, in fact, uh, numbers very close to 3 like um, 2.99 and then 3.01, 3.01. Take note that the results will be very, very close to 0. This will be 0 0.01. This is also 3.01. 0.01. So, dito siya. Very close. Malapit na malapit kay... Malapit na malapit dito. Okay. Nandito siya. But not possibly at 3. Kaya, okay, halo at 3. Because remember, this says not equal to 3. So, this is the first part. Ito. Ito yan. Okay. How about the second part? Kapag x is 3 daw, ang function is 2. If x is 3, the function value is 2. Tama, 1, 2. Okay? So, that's the graph. Okay, let's check on the conditions. First condition, what is f of 3? f of 3? f of 3, yan. and x is 3, the function value is 2. So, we have condition number 1 met, satisfied. Okay? f of 3 is equal to 2. How about limits? Okay, limit from the left and limit from the right. Limit from the right and limit from the left, pareho lang. And that is 0. Okay, so limit as x approaches 3 from the left is 0. Limit as x approaches 3 from the right is 0. Therefore, the limit exists and it's equal to 0. So condition number 1 satisfied, condition number 2 satisfied. However, condition number 3, okay, is not satisfied. Why? Because the limit is 0 and the function value is 2. Ito, the limit, the limit of the function is 0, but f of 3 is equal to 2 magkaiba. Therefore, number 3 is not satisfied. And so we say f is discontinuous at 3. Okay? Discontinuous at 3. So, I hope that one is clear. Now, the types of discontinuity. So, from here, we can now distinguish which among the five uh, show removable discontinuity and uh, essential discontinuity. What's the difference between the two? When is it removable? Removable discontinuity if, okay, the function is discontinuous at A, but for which the limit exists. Okay? May limit. It's just that the function value and the limit, either f of A is not equal to the limit or f of A does not exist. But here, f of, the, the limit should exist. Okay? The limit should exist for, for um, the discontinuity to be removable, limit exists. Pwedeng f of a does not exist, but the limit exists. Or it's just that f of a is not equal to the limit. Okay? But one thing for sure, the limit exists for removable discontinuity. And essential discontinuity, the discontinuity is not removable or essential if, yan, case number one, okay, if the limit does not exist. If limit does not exist because the left and the right hand limits are not equal, then this is jump essential discontinuity. The other case, if the function, okay, is such that limit does not exist because either limit of the function as x approaches c from the left is positive infinity or limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left is negative infinity. Yan, yan. Infinite. Infinite discontinuity at x is equal to c. So let's go back to our examples and tell me which ones are removable, not removable. Ay, nandiyan na kasi yung answer. Ito na lang. So when is it removable? Ito, removable to. Kasi the limit exists. Removable yan kasi 
limit of the function as x approaches a exists. Okay? It exists. Ang problema lang, yung f of a is not equal to the limit. Okay? Of f of x as x approaches a. Removable pa rin yan. Now, jump discontinuity. Jump. Ito, okay? f of a exists. Meron, may f of a. Ito, o. Oh, yung darkened circle dyan. But, limit of f of x as x approaches a does not exist. Bakit? Magkaiba yung right hand at left hand limits. Okay? Kaya ito, jump discontinuity. Okay? Next, infinite kapag yan. The left hand discontinuity is positive infinity. The right hand discontinuity is negative infinity. Infinite discontinuity. Now, lastly, so which one among the five functions are uh, exhibiting removable discontinuity uh, and essential discontinuity? Number one, okay? Number one is removable. But uh, we can redefine f of 1 to be equal to 5. Okay, so let's go back to number 1. Okay, so for number 1, the discontinuity is removable because anyway, the limit exists. Meron tayong limit dito. The limit exists and the limit is equal to 5. Okay, only that the function value is different. Okay, so how shall we redefine? How can we remove the discontinuity? Change this. Instead of f of 1 equal to 2, let's say let, okay, redefine the function this way. We redefine it as let f of 1 be equal to 5. So in that manner, f of 1 at saka si limit magiging equal condition number 3 will be satisfied. Okay? Condition number... This is what we call redefinition. Redefining. Redefinition. If it is removable, we can always redefine. Next, example number 2. Removable or non-removable. Okay? Limit does not exist dito. Limit does not exist. This is infinite, okay, discontinuity, okay, non-removable. Number three, just the same, limit does not exist, it's non-removable, okay. Next, number four, okay, limit does not exist also, yan, magkaiba yung left and right hand, it's a jump, discontinuity, non-removable. Number five, ah, ito, removable. Okay, so for number 5, limit exists. Yan, limit exists. So we can redefine, redefine our f of, f of, redefine f of 3. Okay, and f of 3 be equal to the limit which is 0. So that f of 3 now and the limit will be equal, hence satisfying um, property or should I say condition number 3, making the function continuous. And that's it. Okay. So let's see if our answers are correct. Ayan. Oh. Removable, non-removable, 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 removable. Si number 1 at saka si number 5 lang ang removable. So, that means we can redefine our f of a to be equal to the limit. So, that the third condition will be satisfied. Okay, so that's it for this morning. And for your assignment, ito ang gagawin nyo naman. Please take note of your assignment. Prove that the function is discontinuous at the number a. Then determine if the discontinuity is removable or 
essential. If the discontinuity is removable, define, redefine f of a so that the discontinuity is removed. Okay? So are there questions at this point? Before we end the session, please raise your questions before we end the session. Did you understand the lesson for today? Are you still with me? Or nagutom na kayo? It's 11.30. My, um, my time with you is from 8 to 12, yes? 8 to 12 kasi this is for units kasi siya. Pero masyadong taxing on your part also if I extend that time or if I consume the whole 4 hours for lecture. I think this is enough. And it's too much already. Kasi grabe na ang kain sa data niya. Okay, so if there are no questions, then we could end up the session now and then you can start working on your assignment. If there are questions, please feel free to message me. Okay? So just like what uh, I said in your abstract algebra class, you may send your answers via FB messenger. Kasi I spoke to Ma'am Sincha yesterday and uh, she requested for an extension. Next week na lang daw i-enroll yung alin sa akin kasi your sir Richard still um, collecting or extracting some files from lens. Okay? So thank you once again for joining me this morning. I hope you learned something today. For next meeting, we shall try to start with derivatives na kasi we still have a lot of things to discuss with derivatives and then applications of calculus 1 para hindi naman tayo laging behind. Okay? Para hindi ako maghahabol kung ako ang magiging calculus 2 teacher niyo ulit. Integral calculus. Kasi last time naghabol kami mahirap masyado. Okay, thank you so much. You may have your lunch na early lunch. Okay, thank you. Bye everyone.